Ready. Okay, I'm John Porterman. I'm the Sewanee River Keeper, trying to keep the water as fishable, drinkable, swimmable in the 10,000 square miles of the Sewanee River Basin, half in Georgia, half in Florida. Now, imagine that if we didn't have the First Amendment. Imagine trying to defend free speech. I mean, sure, the First Amendment isn't perfect, and we see laws passed all the time saying, sure, you got free speech unless you're protesting the pipeline. But with the First Amendment, people can sue and probably get those laws overturned. But with water, we don't have the equivalent of the First Amendment. That's why we need a right to clean water. And what can we do with it? Well, for example, uh, I think David mentioned the basic management action plans that the state has compiled. For example, for the Swanee River, there's a lot of nitrates from fertilizer washing off and leaching through the ground into the springs and rivers, causing algae blooms. And those things, well, they're supposed to fix it in 20 years. At one of the early meetings about it, one of our cohorts, Marilyn Mollett Gibson, asked, so you're talking about basically the same methods that have been used over the last 20 years. How has it changed? The answer was, it's gotten worse. The VMAPs are not a real solution. We need real solutions. And um, uh, our umbrella organization, Swanee River Keepers Umbrella Organization, Walls Watershed Coalition, WWALS, Walls Watershed Coalition, we do more water quality sampling in the Swanee River Basin than the Florida Department of Environmental Protection or the Florida Department of Health. But we're a tiny little nonprofit. Now, why is that? And this is not the fault of the individuals in those agencies, it's policy from above. And I don't know exactly, but we need some direction from the top. If we're going to have clean water, we have to know what's in the water. We need sampling. There's another example. A third example, back in 2015, we did a, uh, an administrative hearing case uh, against a pipeline, a stable drill natural gas pipeline. Um, our Santa Fe River helped with that. And we had the judge tell us, that even though four of our members' pipeline would run through their property, we did not have standing. That's ridiculous. Okay, so one thing that the right to clean water will do is it will say that all citizens have standing to sue if the waters are contaminated. This is the Santa Fe River right behind us. It has lots of problems. The, the text of the amendment says flow is important. So if the flow of the level, even if it's not E. coli or nitrates or something, if the river just is, continues getting lower, citizens, so the citizens can sue and get that fixed. It also has to do with remedies. Um, I live within three miles of the Withacoochee River. With current laws, I would have to have my law, my well personally affected. But with this, if the river is affected, I'm affected, therefore I can sue. So it gives, this will give the people standing. It will give them a, an ability to get real remedies. It's the equivalent of the First Amendment for water. We need it. Thank you.